Minnesota Sen Al Franken will resign from the United States Senate on Thursday, an announcement he made a day after a number of his Democratic colleagues called for him to step down amid mounting allegations that he sexually harassed women. Today I am announcing that in the coming weeks, I will be resigning as a member of the United States Senate, said Franken, adding, it's become clear that I can't both pursue the ethics committee process and at the same time remain an effective senator for the people of Minnesota. The allegations against the senator began less than three weeks ago with the account of a Los Angeles radio host who described Franken's actions while the pair were on a USO trip together in 2006. Though he apologized, acknowledged some wrongdoing and called for an ethics investigation to be initiated, Franken resisted early calls for his resignation, even after additional accusations of misconduct surfaced. The tipping point seemed to come earlier in the day Wednesday, when, in what was a coordinated effort, sends Kirsten Gillibrand, DNY, Maisie Hirono, D. Hawaii, Claire McCaskill, DMO, Maggie Hassan, DNH, Patty Murray, D. Wash, Kamala Harris, D. California, Tammy Baldwin, D. Wisconsin, each called for Franken to resign. A host of additional Democratic legislators and Democratic National Committee Chair Tom Perez later joined the initial group of female senators in urging Franken to give up his seat. In November, Leanne Tweeden, the radio host, was the first to go public with her allegation against Franken of forcibly kissing and groping her over 10 years ago. Tweeden claimed that Franken forcibly kissed me without my consent while rehearsing for a skit on an United Service Organization's tour to entertain U.S. troops in Afghanistan. I felt disgusted and violated, Tweeden wrote of the alleged incident in a blog post published November. 17 Tweeden further wrote that Franken groped her while she was sleeping and included a photo of Franken appearing to place his hands on her chest. I certainly don't remember the rehearsal for the skit in the same way, but I send my sincerest apologies to Leanne, Franken wrote in paper statement apologizing to Tweeden. As to the photo, it was clearly intended to be funny but wasn't. I shouldn't have done it. The radio host accepted the apology, and, at the time, said she felt Franken should not step down from his Senate seat. After the allegations surfaced, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, R. Kentucky, called for an ethics investigation into Franken and the 2006 incident with Tweeden. Tweeden said she was inspired to go public with her story after two Congresswomen testified in a House committee hearing that their colleagues on Capitol Hill had engaged in sexual harassment, including groping and exposing their genitals. After Tweeden, six other women came out with similar allegations against Franken. Franken became known to the public as a comedian and cast member of the NBC sketch comedy show Saturday Night Live for 15 seasons.